Hello everyone, and welcome to my new attempt at a let's play, a game that is actually quite nostalgic for me, Super Mario All-Stars. Yes, I will try to go through every single one of these games uh, as a let's play, and this is going to be quite a challenge because I've only ever beaten the original Super Mario Brothers a few times, Lost Levels I only remember beating once, and I didn't even go to the A, B, C, D levels, which I think I might have to do, you know. I guess you guys could put in whether or not, like, just regular first uh, eight l worlds or whether I should go for the whole, like, the whole shebang of going all the way to the A, B, C, D levels. But the problem with those is that they're, well, fucking impossible. But, whatever. We shall start with the first one. Super Mario Brothers! I'm, I really do love the the update to this. Even even though I grew up with a lot of this stuff, like being that I later on found the original games and uh, played those, uh, it's actually quite nice. You can actually quite appreciate a lot of the updates they did uh, to the to the graphic style and the music in this game from the original. That was probably not the best worded of sentences, but whatever. We shall start in a one-player game. Uh, and I think it said we started off with five lives instead of the original, but oh fuck! Uh, instead of the original, which I think you start off with three. Either that, or I completely misread the opening. Uh, uh, uh the opening uh, lives read. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people will kind of find this game rather interesting for me to be playing, since I did a rather crappy review of it a few years ago. Um, you know, that was back in the days where I was kind of afraid, uh, when I didn't really have the perspective that I have now that, uh, games should be able to hold up on things, you know, for... F fuck. Shit. As soon as I start talking shit about this game, it fucks me up. Alright, yeah, and I do have- I do start off with five lives. But, yeah, I don't really have the perspective anymore that, uh, I, I really should have to make excuses for old games. It, I, I'll make excuses if it, if it, like, if it, if it just makes sense. Like, if I, if I think it makes sense that a game, uh, would kind of blow. Like, Turok! Honestly, that game sucks. But, you know... I can know why, you know, they were trying to explore the ideas of, like, exploring in a first-person perspective and doing all the shit like jumping. But, you know, it is so- that fucking game is so awkward! And I played it for, like, half an hour and I got, like, motion sickness from that damn game. But anyway, we're getting into the first level and, man, that mountain looks sad. I think they're trying to be continuous with Super Mario World where, like, all the mountains and stuff had- ooh, double. Uh, where all the mountains and stuff had, like, faces on it, including one point when, uh, Mario- Doesn't Mario shoot a rocket at one of those, uh, mountains? I think it was after Castle 4? Like, uh, he hits it with the- the bomb switch, and, uh, and that causes it to, uh, to somehow to rocket- fuck, I thought I could make it. It somehow causes it to rocket into the air and it lands on the nearby mountain. And for the rest of the game, you'll notice the mountain has like a bandage on itself. Uh, now I'm sure you guys are wondering, like, am I gonna play with it? I threaded the needle when I wasn't supposed to, oh my goodness. Um, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, like, am I gonna play with no warps? Yes, I will not play with any warps on. I will not skip any worlds. I will go through all of them. Ah, uh, yes. And I'm actually gonna... So that, that's gonna be my stipulation for this uh, part anyway. Um, I might do it for Super Mario... Br for Japanese Super Mario Brothers 2, or Lost Levels, if you will. Uh, because Lost Levels is kind of a dick. He, uh, he doesn't... He, he's not afraid of sending you back a few levels and doesn't afraid of anyone. Um, yeah, he he's kind of a dick in this game. He's... Uh, he'll send you back so many levels, and from what I understand, they actually made this version of Lost Levels harder than the original. Oh, yay! Wait, what? That, that was a fire flower, but it only gave me a mushroom! You dicks! 
Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, um... But, yeah, I'm thinking I'm not gonna limit myself with warps if I've been sent back. I'm probably also gonna have to use a guide for Super Mario Bros. 2, because as I pointed out in my own, um... Review of Super Mario Brothers um, Lost Levels. I pointed out that <clears throat> this game is has so many bullshit, uh, like just walls. It just has walls in front of you that you're expected to just figure out how to get to, which admittedly can be kind of that can work. That can work for games where it's like puzzle elements and there's a lot of options, but. The ways around it aren't really that interesting to look into because it's just it's just jumping at empty air hoping to find blocks. You could theoretically figure out, oh yeah, if he, if I was a, a good game designer, I would put it here. But at the same time, it's like that's rather open to interpretation. You know, how far away would I put the block from exactly where I need to be? I can't remember whether th that counts as dying going under there. Ah, dang it. I'm trying to catch the there. Fire flower. And I think they added a lot of color schemes from uh When I when I look at the color scheme of this game, I can't help but be reminded of Super Mario World. But maybe that was because I um I actually didn't own my own Super Nintendo. My brother had the Super Nintendo as a gift. And I still have that Super Nintendo. That's right, I took it from him. But, um... The, uh, Super Nintendo games he got were Super Mario World and Super Mario All-Stars. We played the shit out of those games. Um... I remember the one game I didn't like in that group was Super Mario Bros. 2. Actually, no, there were two games I didn't like. Both of them were the Super Mario Bros. 2 games. Uh, I did not like Lost Levels, and I did not like, um... Doki Doki Panic that much when I was younger. But now... Um, and I remember I loved Mario 3 the most out of all of them, but now in later, uh, eras. My nostalgia for World has probably exploded the most, but that's, uh, more out of, um, that's more out of the fact that I know for a fact it's, like, one of the first games I have an active memory of playing. So yeah, we just beat Bowser. And I like this little update. This kind of implies that King Koopa has not only princess kidnapped uh, Princess Peach, but also has um has <clears throat> has kidnapped like a million mushroom men instead of just them being there like assholes. Alright. Whoa! Alright, I think there's a life here. No. What? Where is it? I could have sworn there was a life here! Why would that be hidden there for no reason? Dicks. Alright. Uh, let's see. But yeah, they, they, this game is full of, like, nice little e uh, changes. Oh, shit. Um, for example, if I'm not mistaken, as I said earlier, you get five lives in this game instead of three. Um, you have unlimited continues. And I think in the original game you did have a, uh, unlimited continues. But you also, uh, but it wasn't, like, blatantly obvious. You had to know to press, I think, A, B, and start or something. And then you would automatically continue from the first world. Yeah. It's been a while since I've played this game, so yeah. Expect a lot of rust, and I'm sure you- No! No! Oh, shit! And there I was trying to gain momentum to chase after the mushroom. And interestingly enough, this game, uh, people have pointed out, has in is one of the most interesting and most well-executed examples of cognitive dissonance in a game. That is, um, you want to do one thing, but it clashes with a uh, mentality that ah, damn it, the mentality that you have in uh, in another one of your survival instincts. For example, if obviously in order to continue the game, fuck. I was going too fast, and I didn't jump in time. Um, but obviously, you want to survive as long as you can in this game. But, um... 
but a lot of times to get the mushrooms which help you survive, I, I don't think caught in the descendants was the word, it was something else. Oh shit, nope, fuck. Yes! Alright. But it, the mushroom which helps you survive will oftentimes force you to be in dangerous situations. So it actually adds a little, er, little extra bit of tension. And that's another bit where, like, in order to get the, uh, fuck! In order to get the coins, what do you need to do? You gotta put yourself at risk of getting harmed by the Koopa Chupas. It's a bit of interesting design, and I'm wondering- Ah, dang it. I'm trying to wonder, like, what are the- Ah, yes! Alright. And the game sort of, uh, has a lot of little rewards to intend for you to be- feel rewarded for looking for secrets, or trying to see what you can get out of a lot of game design. Or- Ah! Dang it, out of the level design. I'm trying to- I'm trying to get a running start- Wait a minute. Was that spring in the original Super Mario Brothers? Because I remember those being introduced in Super Mario Brothers 2. Ah, I should say, uh, lost levels. Fuck! I'm trying to gain momentum, but I'm forgetting that you can't get that far back, uh, in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of Mario rust on me, and that sounds a lot dirtier than I intended it to sound. And no, I will not be doing, like, the, uh, the thing where it's, like, um, at the end of, uh, Mario 1, where if you, um, where it tells you, uh, uh, you can access a whole new world. Or, actually, was that? No, I think that's, uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, that's Super Mario Brothers 2 Japanese. This always weirds me out how the water seems like it's sucking you in. Oh, fuck. I would be at a loss for words if there was somehow such a low pressure rating down there that it would l literally suck things in. Or that Mario would suddenly gain a ton of- or suddenly lose a lot of his buoyancy. Maybe during those times- maybe the times he's over the water he's just sucking- or he's just breathing out all the air that's in his system. Wait, but that actually brings up a new point! How is Mario not drowning? He's perfectly calm! He's not breathing, and in fact, he's taking out bits of air! How is he still alive? You know what they say, Nintendo logic, but dang. Yeah. That actually brings up the, a good point about the character Mario, like... Uh, what is his origins? People have been saying that it's, um... He's supposed to be an Italian immigrant living in Brooklyn. But that brings up another question. Where the fuck is the Mushroom Kingdom? Alright. And one thing I don't like about this game is that for as how- for how far these, uh, these, uh, for how long a lot of these worlds are, the checkpoints are really- for game overs are way too separate. Like, I understand this is still better than those- a lot of the- fuck. Than a lot of those bullshit games where the continues are so limited, you'll keep having to go back to the beginning. But still, this is kind of a pain in the ass. And that's what actually really hindered my experience with Super Mario Bros. 2. The game was, uh, the game did have a lot of the same systems, but because it was so much harder, it felt like it was penalizing you that much worse for losing. So, a lot of times it just felt like it was deliberately wasting your time. Alright. Come on, come up. Alright. Let's see. Alright. Whoa! Oh, you dirty bitch. Oh, you dirty, dirty cunt. Ew. Come on. Ah! Whoa! Oh my goodness, that was close. And who just keep painting all these portraits of Bowser? Shit. These are just questions that are coming to- Well, okay, does he really need two identical- pictures of himself on the exact same wall, sir. Seems a bit unnecessary. Come on, before he's on screen. No. Oh, no, I can't get up there. Let's see. I think this game controls a little more fluently than the originals, but that could just be my imagination or the fact that I feel a little more at home when I'm playing this game as opposed to the very original Super Mario Brothers. 
My uncle actually told me that he owned an NES and we... Actually, no, my mom told me that uh, we used to go to my uncle's house and play Super Mario Brothers on his NES. But um, I don't remember that. The first game I have an active memory of playing is Super Mario World. But I'm thinking that's enough for this part. So next time on Let's Play uh, Super Mario Brothers All-Stars Edition. I will continue on my quest. So, see you guys then.